Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I will explain what happens if you have one of these and you push this button without a license from the FCC's. But first, if you are a longtime viewer of my channel, you may have noticed that here at the EIS Institute, we have completely rearranged the EIS studios. The staff have relocated the Raven EIS microphone closer to my noise hole so that your humble host does not have to yell quite as much. And the entire EIS staff spent the entire day yesterday moving one of the lights behind me. So of course, we fully expect to see many complaints in the comments about these major changes. So knock yourself out. Ladies and gentlemen, speaking as an unlicensed ham radio operator for over 45 years, allow me to be very clear about what this is. This is a Boofwang UV5R ham radio. However, everything of which I am about to speak of in this video applies to any ham radio. And according to our overlords at the FCC's, in order to transmit on any ham radio, one must first have a valid ham radio operator license, also known as an amateur radio license. And like me, if you do not have a valid amateur radio operator license and you push this button like this, you would be in violation of the FCC's rules. And just for clarification, these rules are not criminal laws. I'm reading from my notes here. These are regulations set forth by our overlords at the FCC's under the authority granted to the FCC's by Congress in the Communications Act of 1934 over 150 years ago. So when you push this button, like that, without a permission slip from the FCC's, also referred to as an amateur radio license, you are in violation of those regulations. It does not matter if you set the power output of the radio to low. It does not matter if you transmit on GMRS or FRS frequencies. And it does not matter if you use the radio for personal use to talk with your children. All that matters is if you do this without that permission slip from the FCC's, you are in violation of those regulations of which I just referred to. And of course, what everyone wants to know, the reason why everyone came to watch this video is what will actually happen if you do this without your permission slip from the government. If you look online, no doubt you will find, no doubt you will find some people proclaiming that if you do this without your permission slip from the FCC's, you will go directly to jail and you will no doubt receive a $250,000 fine. And ladies and gentlemen, that, for a lack of a better term, is what we call bullshit. Because according to the FCC's own enforcement database, which by law lists every enforcement action that the FCC takes. According to that database, since the year of our Lord Xenu 2012, 2012, nobody has gone to jail or been fined anything for simply using a ham radio and talking to their friends without a permission slip from the FCC's. And according to that very same FCC enforcement database, a total of less than 10 people since the year 2012 have gotten into any trouble at all. And those guys were all going way over the line, causing problems or harmful interference, and yet none of them has been threatened with jail time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am fully aware that when I speak these hard truths, 
some people's world literally falls apart around them. And in fits of rage, they will leave comments proclaiming that I am a liar. So for those people, I have one simple request. Just show us in the FCC's enforcement database where all of these enforcements that you claim happen on a regular basis, where are they? Just point to them in the FCC's own database to prove that I'm a liar. And to be clear, I am not referring to businesses that the FCC has gone after, and I'm not referring to pirate radio stations or long-time radio or repeater jammers or people interfering with emergency services. We are talking about regular people just using their Boofwang UV5R or similar radios to talk with their friends without a permission slip from the government. And to make it easy, I will even put a link to the FCC's enforcement database in the information section of this video below. So what will happen if you do this without your permission slip from the FCC's? Ladies and gentlemen, contrary to the lies spread by some people on the internet, in this day and age, the FCC's do not drive around randomly looking for people violating the ham radio, GMRS radio, or CB radio rules. In order for the FCC to act, they must first receive a complaint. In most cases, it takes a lot of complaints and these complaints must usually be about harmful interference. And harmful interference does not mean making some people sad because someone is simply doing that. Harmful interference means causing interference on the neighborhood television sets, interfering with a cell phone tower, or, Xenu forbid, interfering with emergency services personnel. And only after the FCC's receives complaints, and only after the FCC's decides to actually follow up, the FCC's must then investigate the alleged infractions, and the FCC's must witness and document said infractions. And then after the FCC's confirms the veracity of the infractions, and only then the FCC will... Let me check my notes send a letter asking you to stop doing whatever it is you're doing. And if those infractions do not stop, or if you ignore that letter, then the FCC usually sends you another letter telling you to stop again. And if you do not stop, the FCC may then propose a fine. Actually, the FCCs will propose what is known as a notice of apparent liability, which you then have the right to dispute. So to put this all in much more simple terms and words for those that may have trouble following along, if you do this without your permission slip from the FCCs, or if you use your Boofwang UV5R or similar ham radio while you are playing airsoft or hiking, without your permission slip from the FCCs, assuming that you are not doing it on the same frequency as nearby emergency services personnel, such as the police or ambulances, the police will not come knocking on your door and SWAT teams will not descend upon your home. You will not get arrested and your dog probably, probably will not be shot. Statistically speaking, based on the information provided by the FCCs in their own enforcement database, nothing will happen.